Thank you for being here and thank you for watching. I'm glad to have you with me. I've got a good one for you in this video. Quite simply, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to use ChatGPT to find the most profitable affiliate products across several networks and actually look at a series of data. So I actually look at um, affiliate products across a, a, across a few different networks and the actual data that matters so you know that they are sell. So when you go and promote them, you're far, far more likely to make sales. So I hope you enjoy it. If you do enjoy the video, do give us a like. Do give us a thumbs up. It really, really helps. I do appreciate you watching. And if you're interested in this stuff, do subscribe. Beat the 9 to 5 is dedicated to help you do exactly that. My name's Chris Jones. I've worked online for over 20 years, can you believe? And quite simply, I'm showing you how to build income streams with AI. And they're the same income streams that I got started with that still work now. But it's made a hell of a lot easier with AI. So if you're interested in this stuff, do subscribe and do get your free 100 AI prompts. That's in the description below. You'll see this page. It's totally free. What it will do in a nutshell is give you 100 AI prompts that you can use to build a six-figure affiliate business. And I'll also be giving you tutorials on how to use them and what to use them for. Okay, so enough about that. Do check that out if you're interested. Let's get on with the good stuff. Here we go. Let's go over to ChatGPT. So what I'm going to show you how to do is pick high converting affiliate products, but across a few different networks. So the ones we're focused on are ClickBank, Amazon and share a sale. So Clickbank if you don't know is just online products. They do do physical products now, uh, a lot of health supplements, things like that, but it always used to be info products. Amazon is physical products, everyone knows Amazon, but share a sale. Um, you may or may not have heard of share a sale, really good network and they are similar to Amazon except you'll find that people sign up to share a sale more like unknown brands if you will more specialist brands more like one man bands or, or or small company but there's some really really good um products there in fact one of the affiliate products i had huge success with that you want to check out this niche straight away was historic newspapers you know where you buy uh, for people's birthdays and so on a historic newspaper from the day that they were born so that's a really good niche for you and that was on share a sale okay so here's the prompt it is a long-winded prompt I'll paste this below in the comments as well I want you to help me identify high converting affiliate products that are profitable and in demand by analyzing platforms like Clickbank Amazon and share a sale criteria for selecting profitable products for Clickbank suggest products with a grad gravity score of 20 to 100 offering 50 to 75 percent commissions most products on Clickbank will offer 75 percent uh, 75 percent commissions anyway a gravity score of 20 to 100 shows it's popular with affiliates without being too competitive for Amazon identify products with a best seller rank indicating high sales velocity price between 50 and 200 dollars with at least four star ratings and many reviews shows it's selling it shows that you're going to get better commission rates and it shows that with the reviews it's actually a good product for share or sale priority products uh, programs with high EPC bonus incentives longer cookie durations and reliable merchant reputations because it's not like Amazon you want to make sure that you're going with a merchant that will actually pay you high EPCs means that the, the product selling it's targeted and longer cookie durations that means obviously you're going to make a sale. You don't have three hours to make a sale from the visit of the site. You want to try and make that cookie duration longer. Then I've asked ChatGPT, assess competition and demand. Google Trends to look at the interest trends for a product or niche. Conduct keyword research using Ahrefs, SEMrush or Google Keyword Planner. Now, um, ChatGPT is not going to be able to do that, but I've sort of primed it for this next thing that I'm going to show you and then perform competitor analysis again it's not going to be able to do that properly but it's to prime it for the next thing that I'm going to show you then I wanted to analyze audience interest and profitability um, again some of these things you'd have to do manually Facebook audience insights answer the public but I just want it to sort of I want to prime it with these things so it gives me an idea 
same with the keywords you can't take it as gospel on chat GPT but what it will do is prime it for something that I'm going to show you and then shortlist and suggest niches identify sub niches with moderate competition and consistent demand suggest five to ten affiliate products across Clickbank Amazon and share a sale recommend niches where the products fit and explain why they're profitable and scalable calculate estimated return on investment so here we go of it goes and it gives me the first thing it does is give me the criteria it's repeating back to me what it's going to be giving me okay so we know all this that's what we primed it to do then it's talking about assess assessing competition and demand and then it's shortlisting as well so it's given me some sub sub niches with moderate competition and consistent demand home fitness equipment eco-friendly products pet care accessories personal finance tools and DIY home improvement but then here we go it's recommending affiliate products that meet those criteria Clickbank uh, pelvic floor strong and again some of these are older products so you could go into a, a similar product that's newer if you wanted to but pelvic floor strong um, broad target audience allowing for scalable marketing efforts smoothie diet high demand for weight loss solutions Amazon I'll come back to this the Vitamax propel series 750 blender BSR is low indicating high sales velocity $500 for the product um, rating 4.7 with over 1,000 reviews 4.7 out of 5 affiliate payout is re reasonable for kitchen appliances um, high ticket item with strong demand and then Apple AirPods Pro 2 way more competitive but again same criteria share a sale it's given me Organifi um, you know high indicating effective conversions available for top performers uh, bonus incentives and then it's given me the I've put carry on here because it stopped working the true skin vitamin C serum okay moderate to high showcasing good conversions then it's recommended those products but it's also given me recommended niches as a rule as as the whole niches so home fitness and wellness um, smoothie diet resistant bands for Amazon and Organifi share a sale and then eco-friendly and it's recommended eco-friendly water bottles energy efficient light bulbs then you've got pet products smart pet cameras pet health supplements and grooming kits then you've got high-tech gadgets and so on it's recommending them to me but the cool thing is it's given me an idea of return on investment so it's looking more at pay-per-click for an ad campaign with five hundred dollars in ads generating one thousand clicks with a conversion rate of five percent average commission fifty dollars sales fifty two thousand five hundred dollars revenue to a five hundred dollar ad spend equals two thousand dollar profit now it doesn't strictly work like that but it gives you an idea and then it's given next steps and this is more manual steps to go through but check this out I've then said I'm going to build a site around the blender and like products give me the best keyword clusters to start I want keywords that people are searching for a way into the niche ie target a specific group of people and clusters that will be buying key phrases and the first output it gave me was just around the Vitamax Propel Series 750 blender this one here uh, 529 dollars okay but what it did was actually give me primary really close-knit to that product and I didn't want that because it's too too close-knit so what I did was I gave it another prompt make these clusters wider don't just focus on one product focus on the people that want a high-end blender what are they using it for what features what verses between the top products and check this out intent high performance blenders for specific goals smoothies and juices meal prep nut butters and spreads professional grade blenders for home chefs um, are high-end blenders worth the price best blender for frozen fruit smoothies blenders for green juices and so on so you've got there a niche that meets those criteria um, a good price point one that's actually selling so if we look at there was um, 2,000 of these sorry guys 2,000 of these bought in the past month here at $529 and we know if we build a site around these uh, 
longer tail key phrases, do a few verses, brand versus brand, Vitamax versus Blendtex, Breville versus Ninja, really well known brands. And we do high end versus budget, feature comparisons, problem solving, why is my, so that's more when they bought it. Easiest blenders to clean might be a buying choice because they can take a while to clean. Best blenders for weight loss shakes. If we pick out those key phrases, we've got a good product, a good price point, we know it's selling, and we can do um, the top products, as we've just seen, mix that in with the top key phrase, link it all together, and you've got a great niche um, for Amazon in this case, or ClickBank, or share a sale. So go and use that prompt. The prompt is up here. You can pause the screen, or I'll drop the prompt below. This long, long prompt. Go and use that and find some really great niches that will pay you way more and uh, be easy to promote. So I hope you enjoyed it guys, go and give that a go, let me know how you get on in the comments. Remember to get your free stuff, subscribe, like and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers for watching.